Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a rainbow look because I was requested to do a rainbow look I've already done, but I don't wanna do the same look again. So I'm gonna do a different one. It's gonna be similar though. I'm gonna be using Lorley Party Animal Palette. Also gonna be using the Lime Lot Lottie Pot. I'm going to be priming my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion. You know, just put it all over. It's good to have a good base wherever you start. And then a lot of people probably wouldn't approve, but I uh, take my finger. Because it seems to me it's a lot easier to blend it in with my finger. But we got our eyeshadow primer down. I take... Okie dokie in the cat's pajama palette. I like to set my eyeshadow primer. To me, it is easier that way. All the way up to the brow. You have your base. I'm going to start with a more pinky color. So I'm gonna go into my Lime Lot palette and go with this pink right here. I'm gonna just start by blending that into my crease using small windshield wiper motions, circular motions. Everybody does it different. Oh Lord, I just can't get myself together today. So I'm just gonna keep blending until I get to the point I want to be. Now that that's pretty pink, I'm gonna take a clean brush. <clears throat> blend out my edges. So now that I've done the pink, I'm gonna do another pink. But this is a different pink. This one is more bright and vibrant. As you can tell, it's pretty bright. And this is gonna add, make this look more pink because right now it kind of looks a little red. I'm gonna pop that in the same place just to make my pink show better. So now that we have the pink done, I'm gonna go ahead and put my purple in the outer corner. Use a different brush. I'm gonna use this one, which has a number on it. This is the Morphe M433. Mine's seen better days, as you can see. But I'm gonna go in with this purple, and it's hungover as the lowly party animal. And I'm gonna just start putting that in the outer corner here kind of keeping it right in here in this corner here just working it in the crease and it doesn't have to be like super dark right now because I'm gonna go back and add more when I go to the end as you can see I kind of kept it around in here so now, I'm gonna go in with a different brush, which I'm gonna use this one, also seeing better days. Also doesn't have the numbers on it, but I think I got this out of one of the brush sets. It comes with a little bag, it's like a gold set. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Laura Lee Karaoke, which is just fully right here. And I'm gonna put it right next to the purple and kind of just make my way in. So. I like to pack the color on where I want it to be and then blend it out. Keeping that right next to the purple, I'm gonna go back to the brush I used for the purple. And I'm just gonna kind of blend those two together. So we got purple, blue, and then we're gonna go into a green. Let's see. We're gonna go ahead and use this green out of my Lime Light palette. The, um, I was gonna use the green in the Laura Lee palette, but it's a little too yellow for what I'm looking for. So I'm just taking a small brush. As you can see, I kind of get smaller and smaller with my brushes. And I'm going to put this right next.
as you can see, we got that rainbow effect going on. And I was gonna do yellow, but I think I'm gonna do orange in my, that's my last color and I might highlight with yellow. But I'm gonna go into drinks in the Laura Lee palette. And I'm taking an even smaller brush. And we're gonna pop that right there in the corner. I've got black on my finger. So now that we have all those colors, I'm gonna take the color, the brush I started with that had the pink on it, and I'm just gonna go through and kind of blend in my crease, trying not to touch the colors too much. I'm just trying to blend the colors into the pink. So now you're left with this. So now is when I go back through and I add more color. I just kind of do this part to give me a layout of what I'm wanting. So it makes it easier for me to do that. So now I'm gonna go back into my purple. I'm going to start packing it until it's the right darkness that I was looking for. Looks crazy right now, but now I'm gonna go into the blue, go right next to it. She just wants to be held, honestly. Lou Name. Hey. Okay, go into the green now. This green is a little harder to work with. It doesn't have much pigment. And y'all see what we're working with now. Like I said, you don't have to go through and do your guidelines. You can go ahead and do a dark right there. It makes it easier for me, personally. But everybody has their own way of doing makeup, so. If you like to dive right in, go right ahead. I'm gonna dip back into my pink. I'm gonna go with the bottoms up out of the Laura Lee palette. And just dip my brush back in there, top off any excess. And now I'm gonna just start blending in my crease. So, this is what you got. I don't know why on the camera it's showing that a patch. There is no patch on my eyes, so it's kind of weird. So we're just gonna ignore that because of my mirror. That's not there. I don't know. Just, I'm kind of confused by what that is, but well, oh well. Just know that that's not there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna go off camera and do this other eye. So we'll be back. Okay. Now that we're back, I got both eyes done and blended out to the best of my abilities. Um, so I'm assuming this is just bad lighting. I don't know. I have a ring light. What's the problem? I'm gonna go in with my Lorley palette and this black down here. And I just go down the, cr the, the edge of my eyelashes right there. So as you can see, I'm just going by the edges of my eyelashes. Like you can see a difference already. And this is gonna act as my eyeliner and it's also helpful for when you apply fake eyelashes. As you can see, big difference. I'm gonna do the other side. Now that we're done with that, I'm gonna leave my eyeshadow alone and I'm gonna move on to my face. As you can see, I have awful tan lines and I'm still peeling, but I got a lot of sun last week and 
I look rough. Normally I use the Makeup Revolution stick foundation in the color F4, but it's a little too light for me now. And I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't know whether to just use it and bronze it up. I don't know. So it looks like this Fit Me is the darkest one I've got. So we're just gonna have to go with this for now. Get this, I put it on the back of my hand. Just a little bit. Try to anyways, I'm about out of that color. I got a new sponge, a damp beauty blender. And I have not been using primer on my face. I don't know, it just, I haven't needed it. Ooh, this is gonna be it. Okay, it's not that bad. I mean, like my neck is like super light, so it actually matches my neck very, very well. The problem is this part. I mean, you can see how white I was and now how dark I am. Like, those tan lines do not lie. This is a new sponge, so it's just like soaking up the product. I don't normally have to use this much foundation, but I literally just opened the sponge. I don't always do my eyebrows before I do my foundation. I normally wait until after, but my eyebrows look so bad. I was like, I am not. So what I used to do was I would do my eyebrows, do everything else. And then I would go back and go back over it after I got done because well on a, already before I even started I have this little patch right there that doesn't take any kind of product well it's not too bad like really I wish I could cover this up because this is what looks bad my awful awful tan lines there ain't no hope I know you are probably thinking girl why don't you have this stuff ready for you start well that's because my area my table is like this big i have no room for nothing i sold my vanity so i can't do nothing but i'm gonna go in with the new elf 16 hour camo camo <coughs> lower the camo concealer uh, i've got to say I've got the shade Fair Beige. I like this concealer. I mean, it's full coverage. It's just sometimes it creases on me. And it's weird because it's either it creases or it don't. Like, I don't understand. I do not understand. But that's just the way it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. So these are my high highlighting highlighting areas. And then I go into my forehead. And down the bridge of my nose. I hate when I do that. I just have no idea what I just did. I hate when I do that. Do you see it? It got on the tip of it and it kind of like got on my eyeshadow. But, oh well. Now this is when I normally fix my mess of a eyeshadow work I do. Because if y'all are anything like me, you get a little messy with it. I kind of take it down. Because you've seen I just draw like a few dots. 
So I take it down here and I kind of go up with it to make like a triangle. I kind of keep it to the corners of my nose, the sides of my nose, and blend her out. Now that we've got that all blended out to the best of my ability, I'm going to set my eyes using Airspun. I use the translucent extra coverage. I'm about out, so that's why the packaging looks so rough because I've been using it for a while. I love this stuff. It's never done me dirty. <laughs> I'm going to set to my eyes. I'm just going to set under my eyes. Just set my chin around where my laugh lines are. That kind of helps to hide your laugh lines. I do my nose and my forehead. I do all those first, and then I will go back and I'll do the rest of my face, and that's just stamping into my face which is gonna make me look even more ghostly but we will fix that just stamping this in my face this helps to ensure that your foundation is gonna last all day now we're gonna go into um, bronzing and contouring I'm going to start out with bronzing a lot of people start out contour then bronzing I start out bronzing contour then bronzing again that's just how I am that's what I prefer and I'm gonna go into my butter bronzer also loved because of hip pan I've got this big flat got hair on it brush so you can see it's just a flat really big brush and I'm just gonna swirl it around in here and then just bronze up my face. Now, since my foundation did not match my skin very well, I am using a ton. I don't normally use this much, but I've got to make sure I ain't got no, I don't look too white because it doesn't look good when your foundation don't match your skin and your neck. Well, now I'm going to go into my e.l.f. e.l.f. contour palette. Also heavily loved. That used to be my favorite shade and it's gone. <laughs> so now I'm going to go to this darker shade down here. The way I contour is I find the line from my ear of my ear down or you can go and follow it up but I just dip it in and then kind of draw a line down I'm not really worried about blending it in right now because I will go back with my bigger brush also contouring is different for everybody. I used to not contour, but it does make a difference on me. I'm gonna go back in with this big brush and I'm just gonna blend because you don't wanna have dark patches. Just going through and blending it all up, blending under the chin. I even take excess and go under my lip. It gives it more of a fuller effect. So now, as you can see, we look a lot better. Okay, for my nose contour, I use a flat little, I don't know. I don't know if you would say it's round, I don't know. But I go into the same thing I used to contour, but I just dip so lightly because it is 
a little too dark for a nose contour, but I hadn't winged out anything else. But I kind of just carve out my nose the way I want it to be, which is a little more complicated now, considering I got my nose pierced. So I just kind of go up the, like if you're looking in the mirror, you can kind of see where the lines are drawn. And I just kind of follow those lines up my nose. And then kind of go around my nose here and it just kind of gives it more of a fuller effect to me and then i normally get a little bit and go under my lip so it just gives you more of like a fuller effect i don't know so now that we've done that i'm gonna go into my blush I'm going to use this Note Desert Road, Ro Lord, uh, Desert Rose, it's kind of like a peachy color, I like it though, it's got a cute little brush with it, I got it with my BoxyCharm not too long ago, but when I was really pale it didn't look too good on me so we'll see how good it looks since I got a tan before you ask yes I'm one of the people that put blush on my nose well that color is mm, I don't know it's all right. It's not terrible. I'm going to go off camera and do my eyelashes. And I'm gonna apply some fake eyelashes. So I'll be back. All right. So now that I've got my mascara and my false lashes on, false lashes make a world of difference when it comes to makeup. I don't know. Just my opinion. Now we're gonna go ahead and work on the lower lash line. I always save this for pretty much the next last, but I'm pretty much just gonna do what I did on top on bottom. So we're gonna start out with purple, taking that brush I use, and we're gonna kind of work it like this. That looks a little extreme, but I will. Into the blue now. Just keeping that as close to wash line as you can. You can't take my advice on that because, as you can see, I did not listen. <laughs> I'm just going to work that in my lash line. Put myself in the eye in the process. Okay, now that we got the blue, I'm going to go on to green. And then, using the orange to go in the corner now I'm gonna take that brush that had that pink on it and I'm not gonna clean it I'm just gonna kind of take it and go underneath to buff it out so we have no harsh lines Okay, now we're left with this, and I guess it's because my camera's at the angle, it's making this kind of look bigger than this side, but it's not, I promise. It's still the exact same. So, I know I told y'all I was going to put some yellow in my inner corner, and I'm going to let that be my highlighting shade. Well, there is a yellow, yellowish gold in this limelight palette. I'm going to use it as my inner corner 
highlighting shade. I'm going to take a little small brush and pop it in my inner corners. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Okay, so the only few things I have left to do is I'm going to pop some mascara on my lower lashes and we are going to highlight. I just realized I didn't even tell y'all what kind of, well, I didn't even show y'all, but the mascara I use is Luminous by L'Oreal. And on my lower lashes, I always use Wonder Beauty. This stuff is so good. I'm actually out, but I just keep digging for more and more in here. Like, it's just barely my mind in here. And the eyelashes, I'm just using these cheap ones. I have better ones, but these were super long, so I was like, I'm gonna go with these. But these are just cheap ones I got at the Dollar General. But I'm gonna pop on some mascara on my lower lashes and then we'll hang up. All right. On to one of my favorite parts, we're gonna highlight. I'm using the Master Chrome by Maybelline in the shade Molten Rose Gold. I love this stuff. Oh my gosh, like I can't get over how great this is. And it's drugstore, so that's awesome. This ain't even my highlighting brush, but I can't find mine, so we're just gonna go with this one because it does the job. I do my cheekbones. I kind of just carry the excess up here. I don't like to highlight a whole lot in other places. I do my upper lip, a little bit on my chin, and then I take my finger and I do the tip of my nose and a little bit down the bridge, and then I take my little brush. I'm gonna clean off that yellow. And this is gonna go in my brow bone. So, I know I told y'all I uh, usually fix my eyebrows at the very end. By fix them, I mean brush them back out. Anywhere that needs to be filled, I fill it. Which, there really ain't no hope for that brow. Last but not least, I'm going to do my lips. And since we have such a vibrant, colorful look, I'm going to go with a nude lip. And this is Maybelline 545 Beige Babe Matte. I'm not much of a matte girl, but as you can see, it's very nude. I'm also going to go in with this pink gloss. This is the uh, jeweled lip gloss from Lime Light, and these are amazing. This color is Peace. Yeah. Peace. I love these. These are my favorite. But I'm going to go ahead and put these on. I pretty much only wear this shade whenever I'm gonna put gloss over it because I don't like the way it makes my lips look like foundations on it. I don't know. But I'm gonna apply my lip gloss. And there we go. And I think we are done. This is the final look. It was a lot of steps to get to this point, but this is not your average everyday look. I know, but it can be for festivals or really whatever. I have four colorful looks to town. I don't give a crap what anybody's got to say. I'm gonna wear what I wanna wear. Do not care. And if you wanna see my, um, other rainbow look I done a few weeks ago, it's at my Instagram and that's gonna be down in my bio. I'll drop it. You can go follow and I'll be posting makeup looks on there and stuff, so.
but thanks for watching guys and I hope to make more YouTube videos and hopefully this will start something fun for me to do since I'm a stare at home, stare, stay at home mom and I really don't have nothing to do during the day we just kind of sit here all day and he plays and it's pretty boring so I started making TikTok videos and that's been really fun I've become pretty big on that app so if you don't know what TikTok is you should download it and go follow me on TikTok which will also be down in the description box if you enjoyed this let me know down in the comments below and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch all the way to the end and I hope you liked it thank you